Good afternoon. Can you hear me? I hear you. Can you hear me? I hear you. We can ask you slides. Okay. Okay. It's good to be here with everybody at this conference. My name is Caroline Oswagu, a PhD student from the American University of Nigeria. You like greetings to everyone at this conference from Nigeria. I'll be presenting my conference paper titled Market Orientation Practices in Nigeria Insurance Companies. As a way of my introduction and learning objectives, I'd like to define the concept market orientation. Market orientation is a business idea that situates the customer, consumer, client, or relevant audience as the center of business activities. It is seen as one of those important management strategies that may lead to the achievement of, of organizational efficiency and effectiveness. And I will say right here, it has relevance for all sectors in the economy, including goods and services in which the insurance companies is included. Therefore, this paper presents an empirical examination of the market orientation practices in a sample of Nigeria insurance companies using a mix of qualitative and quantitative research approaches. The research therefore sought to provide insights with regard to the market orientation practices of insurance companies operating in Nigeria. This research found that Nigeria insurance company emphasized market orientation issues to a reasonable extent. The paper also discussed the research findings with respect to relevant literature and experiences concludes that market orientation in Nigeria insurance company was reasonably emphasized and made suggestion for further research and related issues. Then let, I want to look at my literature review, just a little of that. I'll start by saying that many companies use different types of management strategies to cope with their business environment in order to achieve organizational performance. Market orientation is one of those major strategies used by companies to monitor, analyze, respond to business challenges in the environment in order to achieve organizational performance. Generally, therefore, I can say market orientation emphasizes customer satisfaction by coordinating functional marketing activities in order to achieve organizational efficiency and effectiveness. That is performance. So Lado, Madu, Oliveira, San Rivera, 1998, market orientation can also be conceptualized as a competitive strategy that involves all functional areas and levels of an organization. I want to look at the Nigeria insurance sector. The Nigeria insurance sector has experienced some changes as a result of changes in the business environment. These changes in the environment demand organizational practices and strategies that we assist in achieving organizational performance indices. It may be argued that good management strategies will assist the Nigerian insurance sector to show acceptable performance indices in its business activities. Despite this positive outcome of market orientation in developed countries, Gaps have been observed in the study and implementation of market orientation in developing economies of Asia and especially in Africa. Generally, I'll stay right there, there is no agreement in relevant literature regarding market orientation practices in service-oriented things such as insurance firms like Nigeria, especially in a developed economy like us. Therefore, this paper sought to fill part of the identified gaps by examining market orientation practices in Nigerian insurance companies. My research methods. Research was of a larger research. Part of my PhD work was carried out using both qualitative and quantitative research methods. As at the time of this research, the population of the, of the study comprised all 52 insurance companies operating in Nigeria, especially company operating in Lagos of Nigeria, where two registered insurance company have their headquarters in Lagos State of Nigeria, which is the heart of Nigeria. Chief executives and managers in the 52 insurance firms provided relevant data for the research. The CEOs and managers were expected to have relevant knowledge of the market orientation issues 
of interest in the sample insurance firms. Relevant market orientation measures developed by Nava and Slata 1990 and Koli and Jawoski, in addition to relevant literature sentences by Lado and Maji Oliveira 2001 and Maji Oliveira and, and Lado 2003, were used for this research. This resulted in a 46 item research measure according to Blackson and Stroh 2002. Adaptation of existing market orientation construct and scales in different environments is common and it can be used. The questionnaire for this research comprises of CEOs and managers, just as earlier said. Each questionnaire has session of A, B, and C, the order of one to six, from um, no extent at all down to very high extent. Session A and B of the questionnaire for insurance CEOs and managers presented questions that enable the researcher to gather data to examine the extent or degree of market orientation practice of Nigeria insurance firm. Why session C of my questionnaire dealt with the demographic regarding the respondent of the questionnaire. For the qualitative aspect of this research, a questionnaire guide was used for a sample of 10 CEOs within relating to market orientation issues of interest in Nigeria insurance firm. Why the quantitatively 1,000 questionnaires were given to the CEOs and managers in the 52 insurance companies at that time operating in Lagos State Metropolis regarding market orientation issues. Out of the 1,000 questionnaires given out, 669 copies were returned completed with only 673 copies found usable, resulting in an effective response rate of about 67%. The relevant properties of the market orientation instrument questionnaire used in this study were assessed through reliability and validity tests. Also, relevant statistics too in the statistical package for the social sciences, that's SPSS 20.0, we are used to analyze the collected data with regard to market orientation practices within the Nigeria insurance company. Specifically, the Nigeria insurance company we analyze using descriptive statistics. The results are shown in the tables 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0 below. My results and discussions. Table one shows the descriptive statistics of the extent to which the surveyed Nigeria insurance companies practice market orientation. From the table, it can be seen that most of the market orientation issues weaknessed above average level of emphasis as shown by the mean value, which range from 4.61 to 5.13. 5 also shown in table one, our market orientation issues, they beg A1, which is analyzing level of commitment to serve client needs and wants, with a mean value of 5.13. A3, knowing clients in the sector of business activities, with a mean value of 5.03. And A14, holding periodical departmental meeting with a mean value of 5.10. We are relatively the most practiced market orientation issues within the Nigerian insurance firm. While Table one and zero also show that A17, disseminating competitive information to other department with a mean value of 6.9. A14, A19, disseminating client and company performance to organizational department with a mean value of 4.61. And A21, disseminating client satisfaction to organizational staff with a mean value of 4.63. We are, we are relatively the least practice market orientation issues. What are my results? Overall, the respondent uh, response on the market orientation issues indicated that insurance, in the insurance firm response were of the view that the insurance firm practice to market orientation issues on above average extent with a mean value greater than 4.0. These findings indicated that market orientation issues were practiced to a reasonable extent in the surveyed Nigerian insurance companies, especially analyzing level of commitment to serve insurance clients better and want knowing clients in set of business activity and holding periodical departmental meetings among others. 
highly practiced. The findings from this research with regard to emphasis on market orientation issues by Nigerian insurance firms are expected from these results. These are the major concerns of insurance decision maker in order to achieve organizational performance. In addition, this findings can be explained because one of the major pillars of market orientation is client focus or client orientation. So as seen from this result, client orientation is defined as the sufficient understanding of a company's target client to be able to create superior value for them continuously. Also, client orientation means that organizational clients should be given attention in the organizational activity because this helps the organization to create satisfaction for its clients. However, Kuma et al. 2011 argued that too much focus on client orientation may not increase clients' performance. Also, this is that the Nigerian insurance firm emphasized information related issues to a reasonable extent in the market orientation practices. These findings can be explained because useful information about clients and competitors, among others, should guide efficient and effective decision making in Nigerian insurance companies. These practices of information should be disseminated to relevant units to assist decision making activities within the organization. Coley and Jawoski in 1990 have noted that the relevance of information generation and dissemination and communication in the market orientation practice of organization should be imbibed in everything an organization does. And I put this with evidence that the performance impact of market orientation is mediated by organization internal issues. Then what are my results and findings? It's table only one minute. Two or three, table 2.0 shows the reliability statistics. Okay, shows the tables relating to the reliability and statistics, showing my validity. Then what's my conclusion and recommendation? Market orientation is a strategic marketing action practice for organization, which can predict to some extent the performance of organization. From the findings of this research, it can be concluded that market orientation is practiced to a reasonable extent in Nigerian insurance firms. Also, the reliability value of the research instrument questionnaire used in this research is encouraging and supportive. With this conclusion, it is also shown that Nigerian insurance companies should emphasize evidence-based client-oriented practice in order to improve their satisfaction of their clients. Also, Nigerian insurance companies should design and implement other supporting management strategies that will assist in improving the satisfaction of their clients. Such strategies may include relationship marketing, competitive analysis for the among others. Further research should also be undertaken to determine how certain factors, such as innovativeness and entrepreneurship, among others, are fair in practice of market orientation within the Nigerian industry. These are the tables of my findings, and these are the demographic I use. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, Caroline, for your presentation. Thanks for these insights of thank your you. study. Um, as we're a bit over time, I would propose that we uh, leave out the questions to the end of the session in case we have some time okay. left. And I would like to move over to the second presentation. Um, so if you have questions for the first presentation, please keep them for the end of the session. The second presentation um, is by Heba Sadek and Heba El Emil Helmi from um, the Arab Academy of Science, Alexandria. And it is about customer brand engagements impacts. So uh, Caroline, could you please remove your slides from the screen? So that